Hello everybody. So today I am working on doing some improvements to my backyard setup. Um, so I got a pressure treated 2x4 that I'm actually going to dig a hole and put it in the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create an artificial tree, um, attach some branches to it eventually. Um, so it'll be a nice perching spot for some birds. I don't really have many good perching areas for the birds as they come to my feeders. Um, a lot of times they just come from the trees that are on the edge of the property and then they land on the feeders just without stopping anywhere else. So it's really hard to get a picture of them without a bird feeder in it. Um, so I'm gonna create this kind of artificial tree so that hopefully they'll perch on it on the way to the bird feeder so I'll have a better spot to take pictures of them. Um, so I picked a spot that's got a good backdrop to it, um, a nice clean backdrop, background. It's going to be pretty close to where my blind has been set up already anyway. And I have the bird feeders that have been set up around it as well. So I'm going to uh, start by digging, digging a hole and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so I got the hole dug. I have it about two feet deep. Uh, it's a uh, eight foot two by four. So it'll be about six feet sticking out of the ground. So that should be a good height for me. So I'll have a good backdrop for my blind. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna drill a bunch of holes up the two by four, which will allow me to attach the sticks to it that are gonna be for my purchase. So that's next. Before I start drilling the holes in the 2x4, I'm going to attach a thin strip of wood in the center on the flat side of the 2x4s um, on both sides. So that's going to allow me to have some branches going in different directions. Some can go straight out uh, perpendicular to the 2x4, some can kind of come out towards me and go away from me as well. Kind of create more of a, a lifelike tree, if you will. All right, so now I have it done on both sides and it's kind of down on a spiral. So this one's going down that way. This one's coming down this way. So it's not just perfectly in the center. So hopefully it'll create a little bit more of a spiral effect, give it a little bit more a lifelike appearance. So now I'm gonna start drilling the holes 
um, all the way down, probably do kind of two holes on each end and then one in the center a little bit ways below those two and kind of go all the way down the post, um, all the way through. And that should allow me to attach different branches with some wire. So that's next. about being too precise with the spacing or the location of the holes kind of the more random they are the better it's gonna look anyway so I have uh, about two more feet to go so it's gonna be a little while sitting here working on this and probably about 30 to 40 dark-eyed juncos came over and started feeding on the feeders right in front of me can't get much better than that um, all the holes are drilled so I'm just gonna clean up the post a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in the ground Post is in, standing about a little over six feet out of the ground, which is perfect. I got holes coming down pretty much to knee height here, so I can have a pretty good wide range of branches sticking out of it. 
and I kind of angled the post out of the ground so that I would have branches that would be able to come kind of towards me and away from me. So it's all set and now I'm just going to gather some branches. So we had a pretty decent windstorm here. We had a pretty decent windstorm here the other day. So we have a lot of branches down in the yard, a lot of different sizes. So I'm just gonna get some that look good and uh, start arranging them how they should be on the post. A lot of the branches that I have are from oak trees because that's what I have in the yard. But there is a red maple in the front yard. I grabbed some branches from there. And now it's just a matter of kind of visualizing and putting some sticks on there and seeing how it looks. A little bit of trial and error. So that's one branch and it's kind of facing away from where I'm going to be. Um, I can trim the excess wire when everything's all said and done, but then it's just a matter of continuing down the post. Alright, so I put a total of four branches on. Um, I'm going to start with that. I kind of sat about the height that I would be in the blind, and the height that the branches are now would give me a nice clear backdrop without the white fence in the background. Um, so I'm going to try that, see how that works. The good, the good thing about this setup is that you can change the branches uh, pretty easily because it's just connected with wire. So I'm going to start with that, see how it works. I'm gonna let it uh, sit out here for a couple of days, um, get the birds, get used to it, and hopefully they'll uh, become accustomed to it and use it. As an added piece to this, I collected a bunch of bark that I'm going to use and actually attach to this 2x4 face here. 
This is the side I'm going to see when I'm photographing. So I want to cover this up in case any bird perches on any spot that's close to this 2x4. If I cover it up and make it look like a tree trunk, it's not going to be a ruined shot and I can actually use it. So I'm going to kind of arrange this bark, screw it on, um, pretty much just down to the top half of this post, um, just to kind of give it a little bit more realness to it. And that way I don't need to photograph around the post. And I will say also this bark fell off of the red maple in the front all by itself. Uh, like I said before, we had a pretty serious windstorm here the other day. So a lot of this bark, it's very flaky, it came flying off the tree by itself, so I just picked it off the ground and then uh, reuse it. Alright, I got all the bark on. I'm not sure how it's going to look. We'll see, but it's definitely better than a uh, 2x4 post. So, uh, it's getting dark out. So now it's just a matter of waiting and seeing what's going to use it. Well, that's it for me tonight. It's getting dark out as you can see. Um, but I'm all done. And now I'm just gonna let it sit out here for a couple of days. I'm gonna put the bird feeder in front of it. So hopefully they'll come out of the trees, perch on this artificial tree uh, on their way to the feeder rather than just coming straight to the feeder. Um, so yeah, I'll come out in the next couple of days or so and see if I can get any pictures with it. All right, so it got a little dark last night to continue recording, but I wanted to show some other improvements that I made to the front yard so I can try to use the front yard trees as well. Um, I have a nice porch that I have access to see this little tree right in behind me here. And so I can actually photograph right from my front door with the door open and actually photograph birds that are landing on this tree. So I set up two bird feeders one is the yellow one there, and another one is the red one back here. And I set up a little uh, perch on top of the shepherd's hook there. And I also included a suet feeder on top of the tree as well. So I'm gonna fill up these feeders so I can hopefully use the front yard as well to get some birds. Um, and yeah. All right, so this is gonna be my view from the front door. So I'll be looking out this way. So you can see how close I am to the tree and the feeders are right there. And I also have this big red maple tree over this way too that the uh, woodpeckers like to be on. I've seen yellow-bellied sapsucker, red-bellied woodpecker, and hairy woodpecker over there. So the goal is gonna be with these two feeders and the suet feeder on this crab apple tree here, I'll be able to sit here and the birds will come and perch on this tree and be able to get some pictures of them. As you can see, I just filled up the feeders I don't know if you can see the little birds flying around back there, but I have chickadees um, going after the feeders right now. So that's good. Um, these are all set up. Now I'm gonna go to the backyard and show you what else I put back there besides the artificial tree. All right, I'm in the backyard now. And so 
besides the artificial tree that I built uh, last night, I also hooked up some new feeders this morning. So we have a new suet feeder that's here, that's in this maple tree, uh, that's right in the center of the backyard. I have, uh, we had a, always do a live Christmas tree every year for Christmas. It was getting a little dry inside, so I brought that outside. I'm gonna hook that up to a shepherd's hook. So that'll be a spot for birds to perch as well. And I've also included, uh, I hung this bird feeder up along this tree, which is right very close to the artificial tree and put on this uh, stick connected to the shepherd's hook. And I also uh, hung up the peanut feeder. So that should create a nice variety of different foods. I have suet. Uh, I also have another suet feeder on my left hanging from a tree. And then I have uh, two other normal bird feeders as well, plus the peanut feeder. So that should create some more variety for different species that might visit it. And I also put on the artificial tree, I hung two bird feeders uh, just to try to get the birds used to the idea of perching on it. I'll take those feeders off when I'm gonna photograph. But um, yeah, that's what I have. So I'm gonna fill up the feeders and hopefully the birds will get used to it and they'll start using these perches, so. For the suet cakes, the suet feeders, I actually made my own uh, suet, for lack of a better term. Uh, so there's a lot of different recipes you can find online. Have different ingredients in them. Uh, the one that I chose, it's mostly peanut butter based. And then there's also butter. And then you add some peanuts, bird seed. Uh, there's some oats. And I also put some craisins in here. Um, you can do a lot of different kinds of things, but then you just kind of mix it all together. I freeze it so it makes it a little bit more solid, and then you can put this in your suet feeders. It's a really good source of energy and fat for the birds, especially this time of year. Um, Finn thinks so as well. But this is what I use. You can also buy some. It's relatively cheap, but I had all the ingredients, so I figured I'd try it. So I'm going to hang this up. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Well, that's gonna be it for me today. That's uh, all the improvements that I did for the, the backyard, as well as the front yard, uh, the different feeders that I put up and the different food that I included. Hopefully that's gonna increase the different species that come visit the backyard that I can enjoy from my blind. And stay tuned for the next video where I will actually be out in my photo blind, hopefully enjoying some new species that come visit and some different opportunities that I have based on that. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.